overtraining and recovering. That's really important. So I wanted you to, if you can, because I know sure. it's hard, everybody's different, you know, but uh, when you do too much, what's a good time to recover? And also, doctor, uh, when you do take like your pulse and it's going really fast, when should you say, okay, I should be, I should be balancing out eventually. When's a good time to know that or that you maybe pushed it? I, I think it's basically the way you feel when you're exercising is most important. So if you're starting to feel, I hate to say not right, but you know, a little lightheaded or, or a little loopy, or if you have like, you know, pounding in your ears or whatever, it, when things aren't under control, that's when you need to take a step back and say, hey, maybe I, I should dial this back a little bit. It's a fine, it's a fine line that you want to balance too, though, because a lot of times you're you're trying to get you're, you're trying to increase your heart rate, you're trying to uh, increase your your you know your aerobic capacity. So you're not going to be able to do that if you don't push yourself, but you don't want to push yourself too much. And is it true when you push yourself too much, doctor? They say don't sit down immediately, uh, try to walk it off. Is that true? Because some people tend to just go like this, and they say I'm going to pass out. Right. So and then eventually, if somebody says no, get up, get up, get up, and walk. I mean, what is protocol? If you watch or if you watch athletes race, usually at the end of the race they don't sit down. They they do a short jog around the track or some kind of cool down session, and that gives your body a chance to kind of slowly, gradually get, I guess, reacclimated to to not running and have hopefully back to normal. Definitely, exactly. Now, when running or working out or starting to do anything, how important is stretching and what do you recommend to your patients? Because sometimes they'll just start running and that's it and they haven't stretched and that can just cause so many problems. Well, you can hurt yourself that way, but I think, you know, especially as, as we get older, you have to take some time to stretch. You don't necessarily have to do it before you go out, but if you go, again, a light, light warm-up exercise, like a small little jog or small little even walk before you start running and then stretch, that then you can help avoid some of the injuries we talked about. Like one of these ones that we talked about is the IT band syndrome, and that's basically one of the muscles that run down the outside part of your knee. As that, as that gets tight, that can cause this IT band syndrome where you get pain over time.